Hey guys, Pete Weintraub here. I'm a permanent weight loss specialist. Today's video is about overcoming something that I call martyr syndrome. A lot of folks have it and I'll go into what that is in a second. I just want to tell you a little bit about my day and what's going on. So it's a cool sunny day here on Long Island and I'd like to preface today's message by saying that some of you watching or listening may be offended. I assure you that this is not my intention, but sometimes people have trouble dealing with the truth. Over the course of my time doing what I do, specializing in permanent weight loss, I've come across several folks who wanted to lose weight but often faltered. They would give me every excuse pertinent to a condition that I've coined martyr syndrome, where everyone and everything in their lives comes before their well-being. I've heard excuses regarding children, significant others, family members, work, you name it. And look, I'm not saying you should start neglecting these people or these things in exchange for focusing on yourself all of the time. That being said, it's just like when you're about to take off on an airplane and the flight attendants are going over the safety precautions. In the event of oxygen mask deploying, you should always secure your mask first before helping others. This includes your children, the elderly, whoever. Why? Simple. If you're worrying about the people sitting next to you and you neglect to put your mask on first, there's a good chance that because the cabin has lost pressure, you will be deprived of oxygen and be at risk of passing out. Or worse. If it's small children you're sitting next to, the chances of them being able to help you while you're out are slim to none. Everybody has martyr syndrome to some degree. I do. I'm sure you do. Everyone does. And that's okay. As a parent, a business owner, whatever, you're going to prioritize a lot of the people and things in your life ahead of certain luxuries. As an avid softball player, I've seen great players go from full-time to part-time to no longer playing because things picked up at work or they had kids, whatever. And that's all fine and dandy. The issue is that the cutting of activity does not stop there. They're not just cutting out the recreational activities like softball but the important ones, like exercising, eating right, and keeping a clear mind. When these players come back, once the kids are a little older or business has calmed down, they've often put on a significant amount of weight. I see this practically every year and can count on it happening when I hear, oh, he's just going to fill in this season because work picked up, or his wife is about to give birth, so he's taking the season off. All I can understand not having three to four hours of playtime and travel on any day, there are 168 hours in a week. Let's say 16 hours are spent performing a combination of work and sleep, all right? So it doesn't have to be eight and eight. You could work for 12 hours and only sleep four, but it's usually 16 for most people. Let's even give you a few more hours to chauffeur the kids around if you're a parent or run errands if you're a parent or not. <laughs> that still leaves you time to meal prep, work out, or do something to improve your health. I've worked with people who literally took this extra time and would then consume it, worrying about someone in their families, something at work, whatever. They would go so far as to allocate every waking hour to everyone and everything other than themselves. And that ain't, that ain't gonna fly if you wanna make a permanent change, I'll tell you that right now. If you made it this far in the video or the podcast, what have you, then you're, and you're not offended and you know that this is something you do, then I ask that you start by blocking off just 30 minutes of time each day to do something healthy. It can be as simple as preparing a quick healthy meal or going for a walk or even meditating. Whatever that something is, I promise you, you'll enjoy taking that time for you and then you'll find ways to take more time for you. I look at it this way too. If you're concerned about giving your best to your kids, to your spouse, to your job, whatever, how can you do so if you neglect yourself every chance you get? The healthier you are, the better you'll perform, and thus, the more the things and the people you care about so much will appreciate you. Until tomorrow.
Hey guys, Pete Weintraub here. I'm a permanent weight loss specialist. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you can do me a favor, please click the link below and subscribe to the channel. Every day I'm going to be popping out new content that will enable you to learn more about nutrition, fitness, and mindset as it relates to permanent weight loss. Now there's a million programs out there that talk about how to lose weight. There are shows on TV like Extreme Weight Loss and The Biggest Loser. The problem is all of these show short-term fixes that aren't exactly healthy either. I'm more about doing this in a healthy, sustainable way so that you can achieve permanent results. So you only have to do this once. So what I'd like to gift you, if you're interested, is check out my website at Weight Loss by Pete. Com. There's going to be an opt-in on the page where you can get a free report detailing the five strategies that I personally used to lose 100 pounds, keep it off for good, and now my mission is to help as many people as I can to do the same without the research, trial and error, and years spent plateauing, not knowing what to do from a nutritional, fitness, or even mental standpoint. So check that out. I'd love to gift that to you. And feel free to check out the channel and any upcoming videos. Feel free to go back and look at my older ones. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you tomorrow.